everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews. And on this episode, we're going to be looking at Deviate's new urethane ball, the Tactic Control. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're looking at Deviate's first and newest ball in their urethane line, the Tactic Control. Now this is a very special urethane ball, so why don't you tell us why, Scoops? Well, first of all, it has a turmoil uh, symmetric core in it, yep. which is one of my new really favorite good cores. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the cover stock is called the Control Urethane Cover Stock. Mm -hmm. And this is what makes it very special. It's the very first ever two color urethane. Yeah, two colors. Two colors. Yeah. That's so, four? Four. Two. Four. Two. Yeah, two. Okay. <laughs> um, so DV8 in Brunswick wanted um, a urethane ball that yep. was a little bit cleaner than everybody else that was on the market. Okay. Um, but not giving up any control down lane. And yeah, they got yeah, it. They, yeah. Now this ball is, in my opinion, designed perfectly for high rev players. It is a much more rigid cover stock in the urethane uh, than you see in, in things like the True Motion, yeah. even in the True Motion, which is old school urethane. Yeah. And that rigidity makes it slow response, which actually makes it a few boards, like four or five boards less total hook, but it also makes it a lot cleaner for us. And um, just as a warning, when you throw this ball the first time, throw three or four shots before you take it into the league, as it does need to absorb a little bit of oil, so it's going to hook pretty much at your feet the first time you throw it. But from there, it becomes, in, well, for me, a godsend of urethane for when the lanes kind of get chewed up and I need the ball to get down lane. But rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here is Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. Yeah, he's born on the Phi House shot. Now, we want to remind wow. people of something important about urethane. Urethane is not for dry lanes. No. <laughs> we get this question all the time. Yeah. If you're buying urethane for dry lanes, you're buying the wrong ball. Yeah. Urethane is actually the earliest cover stock. Yeah. It rolls off your hand almost. And like we talked about... This cover stock, especially, mm -hmm. if you don't get the oil to soak into your track area, it's going to hook off your hand. Yes. And you can see it does have some hook properties to yes. it. Yes. You can see Wayne's slowly kind of moved out to the right. Yep. Well, he had a high hard one the first yeah, time, but that first, was, yeah. I mean, classic gear thing. You got well, and that's the thing. It's he's back to that again, right? Holding in the oil. <laughs> he knew that was a strike. Right on the nose. And that's what we're seeing. It's that yeah. old school rigid urethane. Yeah. Now, this one. With what we said about it not being for dry lanes, if you were going to pick a ball, a urethane ball that's out there, this, for be some, the one. this is the one. Yeah. Because yeah, it is very clean and it is very. Um, it's just controllable. Control, yeah. Yep. Now, here you are and you are pushed way right. Oh, I love playing this line. Oh, <laughs> well, trip four there. Yeah. The modern equipment doesn't let me play this part of the lane on this shot, especially. Not on a house shot. No. 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 Where this ball let me t get a little right. And play something a little bit straighter. But you can see it pick up, roll, and then just yep. set itself up. Now, one of the things we talked about is is comparing it to the True Motion. Yes. It's about five boards less total hook than the True Motion. Uh, and that's because the cover stock is more rigid. Yeah. It also has the finish on it, that 500, 3,000 3, yeah. to get a lot more distance on yeah. it. It's still reading much earlier. But if you look at the True Motion, the True Motion might read at about 25 feet. Yeah. This one's wow. reading about 33, 35 yeah. feet. And, and that's a lot of distance. Yeah. I love the two colors, too. That makes it easy to see what your ball yeah. is doing. Yeah. I mean, I like the true motion, but I could not play this line. No. Wow. It was too early. Yeah. It was just... Which, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Play yeah. the true motion on more oil. Yeah. 
like a control. flat sports pattern, yeah. a short pattern, or to control your yeah. motion down lane. Now yeah. here I am. I really, really liked this. Wow. Um, I mean, you drill two true motions I to drill, try to get a similar roll that you're getting now. That I'm getting right here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and please don't mistake. I love my true motion. Yeah. But I felt like this ball allowed me to stay in the friction longer. Yeah. And didn't read the friction as early. Um, and it it pulled a little more oil down lane for me because of my tilt. I see the friction so much faster. Yes. I felt like I could play this right over top of a hook spot and it wouldn't see it. Oh yeah, for sure. Because like you said, the, the other thing you got is everybody has to remember is the urethane doesn't absorb the oil. That's it right. moves it, it and moves it's going it. to move it down. So instead of having to move left, a lot of times you have to move right. That's right. And that's not a bad thing, especially for somebody like you that can run out of lane really quick. Well, you can see I'm actually playing yeah. it in the oil, yeah. in the heavy oil, yeah. and it's still hooking. Well, I, I can see you playing this in, in yeah. league oh, in absolutely. September for sure. Now here we are with the uh, mid lane lane level shot. You can see how much this ball actually hooks now. It actually hooks a yeah. ton. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you're looking for urethane, this might just be your ball if you're a high-rep player. Sure. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.